Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Vostro 14 uh, 3000 series. The exact model for this one, they have actually a few models. The exact model uh, Vostro 14 3490. That's the, this is the uh, series, that 3000 series. And the model for this one is at 3490, the exact model. And if you want to find the re uh, regulatory mo model, it will be on the other side. It will tell you model RG, regulatory model is a P89G. So pretty much in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can increase the RAM for this series. This applies for any Vostro 14. 3000 series if yours comes with an 8 gig or 4 gig ram and you want to bump it up to 16 gig ram you can easily do it i'll leave the link in the video description how you can do that you can go up to 32 gig on this one with no issue the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set as i always recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have all the bits you need for every laptop and uh, from this a screwdriver set we're going to be using a phillips number one and you will need an opening tool you can get the pro set that includes you with an opening tool or if you don't want to go ahead grab a, a guitar pick any metallic guitar pick will do the job just fine as they're really suitable to opening plastics covers or stuff like that with these two on hand, then you want to shut down the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. On the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to stop re start removing all the screws except three screws that they have a C lock on them. The screws that is right on the side where the RJ45 cable connector goes, this screw and the one in the corner and the one right beside it, these three. They have a C lock on them. I have no idea why. Let me know in the video comment if yours even has it even on the other side. It's kind of weird that only the three screw has a C lock and the rest they don't. It's not that they just fall off or something. Maybe the manufacturer they forgot to put a C lock on rest. What does a C lock do? It will prevent from the screw to just come out entirely. For example, if I remove the one on this side, you can see the screw comes out completely. So the threads are all the way back to the corner. When you try to remove the one on this side, you can just rotate and rotate and it will never come out. You just have to do a few turns. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna remove all the screws that we can actually remove. And these three screws, we're just gonna lose them up and leave them there. Also, I realize there is only 1% of my viewers that subscribe to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can just buy support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it will be a great, tremendous support. And if you have any question or request, you know, I always take them from you, my viewers. But I remove all this, the rest of the one from here. Once you get to this one in the corner, just twist, twist, twist. And then you hit that click and let it go. Same thing on this side, just click, click and that's it. Once you loosen it up, you want to open up the laptop a little bit. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Do it the one on the left side. You start from the left and just twist. And you should see something like this opening. Do the whole front end. Just twist, twist. Go to the left and the right side. Do the one on this side. Go all the way to the back corner. Now, it is very important, you don't want to open up from the, where you have the VGA connector because otherwise you're going to break the plastic in here. You want to lift up from the RJ45 side upward, put your finger by the hinge and lift it up and move it around, wiggle it around and push it towards the VGA a little bit so you can release this uh, plastic edge right here. So that's the bottom cover and this is what I'm talking about. You see these screws, they have a little c lock on them right there and those prevents them from falling down and pretty much and the rest of the screws they don't have that so 
that's kind of weird that only three screws has it all right down here you're gonna see the rams right in front of you this one comes only with one ram to remove the ram you do not need to remove the battery at all is not necessary absolutely you don't need to remove the battery to remove the ram all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside the rams away from each other and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle just like that and you want to grab it in 45 degree angle and you want to slide it out in the same direction these are uh, eight this is a 8 gig ddr4 ram so you can grab a 16 gig ddr4 ram make sure the notch on the dim on the ram matches the notch right on the ram dim and it says dim a and dim b so that means first you have to fill up this side and secondary here so we put one ram dim in here, bring it in down in 45 degree angle, all the way towards the jack, and push it towards the motherboard, and you should hear a tiny click. That's all you want to hear. And once you have your second ram here, same thing. I don't have a second ram here, I'm just showing you guys. You can grab another 16 gig ram. Make sure, it doesn't matter what orientation the chips are on, as long as the cut matches. Bring your 45, slide all the way towards the jack and towards the motherboard. That's how you want to do it. There's a trick. When some people update uh, both RAMs in here, they put 16 gig, 16 gig, or 8 and 8 gig. And when they turn on their laptop and everything spins, but there's no image coming, even after 5 to 10 seconds, don't panic. All you need to do is to power off the laptop and swipe the places for the RAMs and then try it again. And you will see it will work after five to ten seconds because the RAM, the BIOS will need to adjust to the RAM and do a memory check. Once you got the RAMs installed, all you need to do is grab the bottom cover, bring it up, and scoop down the VGA side down. So it's, you want to scoop this edge right under the and uh, this port right here. So bring it in 45 degree angle. Just scoop it right underneath, and then press the corners. Work your way in the front all the way to other corner work way to the back bring this side make sure you hit those clicks and uh, first we're going to tighten up the c screws c lock screws right here and the last step will be to put the rest of the screws all over the place and if you see any gap opening between the top and the bottom cover you just grab them and pinch them together and that's all again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for your Dell Vostro 3000 series laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment and I always try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.